Hello everyone, welcome to, to a tutorial video. Uh, we have not done one of these in probably a year. If you remember, I used to do some tutorial videos where I basically explained how to use really complicated programs. Uh, I'm going to be starting this series back up. Not sure what I'm going to do with it yet, but for the time being, the main reason I wanted to start this series back up is because a lot of people on the Discord channel and the comment section have been asking me about my editing software as well as my recording software and how I can render my animator five minute animations in under a minute. And, well, the main reason why I can render my animator animations is just because I have way too many drives and storage, so that's not really anything, that's just storage, mostly. But as for editing, so a lot of people have been wondering what I use for editing. I use uh, the Movana Suit uh, Video Pro, and then I use the Ice Cream Screen Recorder for recording. Um, yeah. Uh, the new Movana uh, suit just actually released, I believe, like a month ago. I just got my hands on it recently. I got a discount because, you know, I'm a member. Yeah, so uh, I wanted to actually make it a quick tutorial video because a couple people have actually asked me how I use the editing software because it's garbage in terms of, hey, I downloaded this super cool uh, editing that has a ton of stuff that it can do, and I paid a lot of money for it, and it runs like shit. So... <laughs> Yeah, um, for those who aren't aware, the previous version of this editing software ran really well and could render animations and videos very quickly. The new version runs at, like, 1 FPS an hour. It's, it's incredibly laggy, and it just is purely garbage in terms of actually being able to use it. It has amazing effects, packages, and also this media bin, which is literally the only reason I bought this new version is solely for this media bin because locating files on my piece on my PC <laughs> well locating stuff in these three separate drives in files that I don't organize cuz I have way too much stuff is a nightmare on wheels, so Gosh. I like just having this media bin for the sole purpose of it keeps me sane. <laughs> so yeah, uh, this media bin was like the only reason I really wanted to get this because it was like, hey, the old version works fine. And the Milan is like, we have a media bin, and I'm like, take my damn money. <laughs> so yeah, it makes this worth it. Uh, yeah, so what I was getting with the lag, uh, the new program. If I disable it, okay, I've clicked play. As you can see, it's not playing. It'll play eventually. If I click play again at the very beginning of the video, it's it's there. Okay. Oh, 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 if I fast forward, oh, if I fast forward oh, too right. far. Okay, that was about 20 seconds for this thing to fast forward, and that's every time you move your uh, timeline, which editing all of these PNGs that I'm doing now in my videos, to import one of these would be like 20 seconds to wait for that to import. And keyframing all of these off is just not worth it. And if, if I click cut, 20 seconds for that cut to appear, utter garbage. Yeah, so there, there, there's a very easy there's a very easy fix for this, and people have been asking me because uh, I, I showed this I showed uh, I, I added a video during last week's stream, and everyone was like, "How on earth were you actually doing that?" And it was working. There's a very simple solution: just turn off high resolution preview. It destroys your frames. I don't know why. So yes, uh, basically uh, what this does is. With the high resolution or low resolution preview on, basically it compresses your video file down to a very low resolution so it runs better. But that takes hours for it to finally compress. And basically, you import a video, you have to wait an hour for it to compress, and then you can start editing. But then the minute you move your timeline, it has to compress that, which takes another hour. So, in the long run, it helps with FPS, but if you want to edit a 15 second video, you gotta wait an hour. 
and it's really not worth it in the long run of, hey, this animation is going to lag the thing because it's rendered in like 1,000 frames per second, 60 FPS, and it's 4K. Yeah, it'll work with that. But for like a Bed Wars video that's 20 minutes, just turn it off. It's, it's really not that difficult. Turn off a uh, low resolution uh, rendering and the, the program will run completely fine. There's a button right here to turn that off. And you can also go to your settings. Under settings, you can just disable optimize HD clips. And the program will run like the previous version of said program. And you can just click play. And it will play the video. Uh, you can fast forward. Yep. It'll go to that area that you click. And it's just all around <laughs> not garbage anymore. So yeah. I uh, hope this cleared up those comments that I was seeing in the previous uh, stream last week. Yeah. That's why this program is garbage when you first install it, is because this setting is turned on for some reason, even though it kills the frames. Yeah, uh, if you're installing this program for the first time, just turn that off. It will help, like, a lot. <laughs> so yeah, that is, um, yeah, that, that's pretty much what I wanted to say, because a lot of people have been asking me, WHY IS THE FRAMES DYING? And how can I get better frames? So yeah, that's how you fix frames. And with that said and done, hope you know this tutorial. And uh, I've been Top Hat Nard Bunny, and I will see you next time. Oh dear God, I, I turned it back on an accident. Oh God, the frames are dying. Oh no.